right, guys, yet another car shows up that I got to put on just because it's really, really cool. And I think you guys are going to love it. It's really crazy, but it matches a lot with what we're doing here with the demo car. Okay, I'll let you see it. Factory. The f yeah, they say it's actually factory. Well, not factory. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Factory worker built. So supposedly this thing was done this way in the uh, 80s. Look at this. It still has a sticker on the window. Isn't that crazy? This is the original window sticker from, um, I don't even know what year, 1982. 1982. That's the year I was born. And this thing is perfect. It's perfect. I'm bringing this up because we have a 1959 Cadillac coming in pretty soon. This is gonna be a really crazy build. And this caddy shows up. Um, it's just something else, man. I mean, this, all the body mounts. I mean, these, look at this. How they did the body mounts. Suspension underneath. Doors work perfect. The interior, like perfect interior. And it smells, it smells brand new old. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it, it does. And that is the legit mileage on it. 2,598 miles. Two thousand miles. Put this thing down here for the shifter on the transfer case. It's got a reconstructed vehicle title as a 1983 C A C H R N C. I don't know what that means. One of kind four wheel drive coupe de ville. It is believed to be built by Cadillac for an acquaintance of the vice president of Cadillac Motors. Uh, 1983 coupe de ville body fitted to a 1983 Chevy Suburban chassis. The 2500 mile thing is because it's been in a museum for many, many years, otherwise only used for parades and car shows. It's got posi front and rear, 5.7 engine, and it is obviously a one of a kind. I don't know, it might be one of those cars that no one ever knew existed until now. Man, that's something you never see. Damn. Look at that car. Wow. Look at that car. That's crazy. <laughs> oh my God, Tony! <laughs> no more Bruce. Oh, Bruce is gone, son. Yay! You happy? I'm very happy. Good God, let me see that. I'm elated. That is, that's some rough looking stuff. Man, your finger's so much smaller though. Look at that. Yeah, you look normal. I know, right? It's so beautiful. What's this uh, purple? This is the doctor's signature. Oh, he signed it. Yeah, he did. Look at that. This hurt. This finger hurt worse. When they, got, when they got done. Why is that? Because they crammed it, crammed it in a vice and held on to it. Ooh. Yep, so you wouldn't get away. I guess so. But you were out, right? Yeah, not completely out. Mm. Took like an hour. Jackson, did you see this? He'll I pass out. I can't look at it. Why? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> He's like, Bleh. Hey, Nick. Look at this. Oh, you want to see it? Uh, no, but I'm here. Oh, that's not bad. Nah. Looks like the other fingers. Man. Yeah, there's, so, a, there's a little swelling right now. So that, that'll go down. So how much, but, how much uh, skin did they take off of that? I don't know. Because, I mean, that thing was yeah. like this yeah. big. Oh, I smashed my finger! Oh my Look God. at that! <laughs> I'm sure they took quite a hunk off of it. They had to cut a bunch of skin off. So yeah. you're, this skin here, where the stitches, was on the side probably. Yeah. That's just crazy. Yep. Jackson, look at this. No. Hey, don't I be was, sorry. I was raised on a farm, so I've seen it all. Yeah, you have. Yeah. Mm. All the sheeps and blood and goats. Cows getting pulled out with come alongs. And oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Really? Yeah. Wow. Mm. So I, I got to show you something. We are going to do a build on a 59 Cadillac coming up pretty soon. Roaster shop chassis, all the cool stuff. So the motor going in this just showed up today, and I think it's kind of a special thing. And uh, we're gonna open the box and invite you guys to see. So y'all know Ben? Hold on. 
Nick. And we got the motor sitting over there right now. We're gonna run you through this. What transmission is this? So by this way? is a T56 six speed. Same thing we put in all the Hellcat swap cars and the Viper car. Um, mm -hmm. So T56 six speed put in Camaros, Corvettes, and Dodge Vipers. All right. So you got a six speed in that. Got a six speed in this. I think there's a five in this. Uh, there's a six in this, six speed, and a five in this. So this is before you open it. Jackson, was that good? <laughs> that was good. That was perfect. Just what was? Camera time. Just okay, good. All right, we're gonna unveil nice. the whole thing. Wow! It's a plastic bag. Look <laughs> at all that. Wow! God, that's beautiful. Look at that. At least 12 horsepower. That's a freaking power thing. That's a motor right there. So this is an LT4. So the LT platform is after the LS platform. Everyone's heard of LS's, LS swaps, all that stuff. So they went to the LT platform in 2014. It's a, a direct injection, small block Chevy. This is the LT4, which is the supercharged 6.2 liter um, V8 that was put in the seventh generation Corvette Z06. So makes 650 horsepower and 650 foot-pounds of torque. This is a Johnson rod connected to a canooter valve. Damn, damn, I didn't know these came with canooter oh, valves. Yeah. Oh, shit. You're so smart, Paul. They, they all got canooter valves. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have to put muffler bearings, though. We don't have muffler bearings. It does not have muffler bearings. Hey, you true. know what? Exhaust fluid never used to be a thing. Right. And now it is. And now it is. So yeah. just wait. Guys, yet another crazy thing that showed up. <laughs> I gotta show you this one. I like showing the things that show up. You know that, um, just random cars, random trucks, just random vehicles. But I think this one's especially cool because it's so big. This is like um, a five ton with a modern body on it. Check it out. The size of this thing. So it's sitting on this giant chassis. I'm going to show you a picture from the side. What a beast. Just so huge. So the tires are about five ton size. They're, they're at my waist. Just massive. Everything is just huge on this thing. It's only here because that stuff had to be put on a good size comparison by my dually yeah so this is an international and uh you can see it's got it's got a industrial cab on it so kind of like a semi truck looking thing but then it's got I think probably a Ford bed, maybe. Because that's definitely a, a regular dually bed, but totally cool, yeah. Definitely a Ford, Ford dually bed. Look how big and purdy that thing is. So you can see how tall it is. Now it goes like a foot higher than that too, if we want it to go. So now we can roll it around this thing pick the body up off of that chassis and then put it on the ground because that's what's happening next <laughs> 